Hi there and welcome to this edge computing tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can map an IoT sensor to an edge device and to a container application that is running within. Before doing so, I would like to ask you to get familiar with Nuvla and Nuvla Logs. There are a few videos on our YouTube channel that you can watch first, so make sure you do because we'll make use of those technologies in this video, in this tutorial, okay? So my setup for this tutorial is simply a Raspberry Pi as my edge device and is running a Nuvla box inside and there's a webcam attached to it. So that's what we will use as our IoT sensor. The use case for this tutorial is an application that is containerized and is making use of this open source machine learning platform called TensorFlow. Probably we have heard of it. It's not very important for the tutorial itself. It's just so you know that we are using an open source platform to build the application that we'll be deploying in the Nuvo box in the Raspberry Pi. So it's TensorFlow based and it's an application that will detect objects. Okay. We'll use Nuvla.io for this, which is our public offering uh, of Nuvla. And for now, we will just log in into the platform. So once you log in, you will find many different options to, to choose from. If you click on dashboard on the left side, you will see nothing because we have nothing running at the moment. But if we click on the edge panel there, you will see one card and that's our Nuvla box. That's our edge device, Raspberry Pi 3 from our setup. And if you click on it, you will get all sorts of monitoring information. So the last heartbeat was just a few seconds ago, so everything is good. We have resource consumption information from CPU usage to memory usage and disk usage. And on the bottom, you also have uh, information about peripherals. These are, these are our IoT sensors. And you will see that there is a webcam uh, there that has been reported from the Nuvla box automatically. We all need that, that device there. That's the physical device in the file system for that HD webcam. We'll need it for later, so we'll come back to this. So for now, let's just move ahead and check our App Store. So when you get to the App Store, you will see many apps. The first one is the one that we want to use for this tutorial. It's basically an object detector application based on TensorFlow. It's quite a simple application. It's based on a uh, Compose file that points to a Docker image that we have built on purpose for this video. And if we check the source code for that Docker image, you will see that in fact, we have not developed this application. We are just using uh, open source um, um, code that we have found here and there from TensorFlow and also from another uh, GitHub repository. The links for these references will be in the description of this video if you want to build it yourself as well, so feel free to do it. And the application is quite simple. It's just uh, exposing via HTTP uh, a video feed with object detection based on the models from TensorFlow, okay? And you can see that from the Compose uh, file there that we are exposing that HTTP port from the container to the host, to the Raspberry Pi, so that we can access it later on when we deploy the application, okay? So everything is good here. We can check that our syntax is fine and we have the compatibility mode on the right side set to Swarm. That's the default, right? When we put a Compose file in Nuvla, the default will be a Swarm application. So we can just click Launch. We'll be given the option to, to choose uh, one infrastructure. We just have one, so let's go ahead. No environment variables, no files. That's pretty much it, all good. We can just click launch and Nuvla will reach out to the Nuvla box running at the edge, which is a Raspberry Pi, and ask it uh, to deploy this swarm stack, which pretty much is the compose file that we have described before. So when you click on your deployment, you'll get a new page with all sorts of information about it, like the state, which is now started, just means that we are waiting for the actual application to come back to Nuvo and say, I'm ready. And you have events that have been triggered to execute this deployment. You have parameters as well about this deployment, the name, what it is running, the actual number of instances and replicas. And we are just waiting for this green button that is now there on top to appear. 
because that thing means that the endpoint, the HTTP uh, service that is running for us to expose the video feed is now ready and can be accessed through this URL there. And you can see that it's not a public IP because if you have watched the previous videos about uh, the Nouveau Box, this Nouveau Box exposes a VPN endpoint, which is private. And if we click on it, you will see that, hey, something went wrong. So even though the application is running, you can see there, it has been started, it's green. Something went wrong within the container itself. So let's get the logs. And we will see that there's an error there on the right side. The error says that my application was not able to make use of the webcam. I cannot use that device for some reason, okay? Even though we know it's there, that's in our setup, it's connected, it's plugged into the Raspberry Pi, our application, our container cannot use it. And therefore it breaks and we get into this kind of weird state because the container is running, but the actual application is not getting the video feed from the webcam. So let's just stop this and come back to it a bit later. Let's see how we can fix it. So let's first try to understand why this happened. If we check our app back in Moodle and our recipe, we will see that we are using the Docker image, that's the right one, and we are doing a port mapping, but we are missing something. Let's check the docs from, from Docker, and we will see that there's an option there called devices that we are not using for our compose file. This allows you to map a physical device from the host to the container. And that's what we should use. That's what we want to use in order to map the IoT sensor to our Raspberry Pi. And if we check the edge panel in our Nouveau box, we will find the actual path to this device in the file system. It's slash dev slash video zero. That's our webcam, okay? So let's just copy that. It might be different for you. For my case, it's slash dev slash video zero. Copy that and keep in mind that Docker says, hey, this option will be ignored by Swarm. So let's see what happened. Let's click on our app back in Nouveau. Let's go to the compose file and let's write this new option devices and let's map our device slash dev slash video zero from the host to the container. Same path, let's just keep it this way. And let's save this updated application. Let's put a commit message there and let's see what happens. So now on the right side, you can see that there's a new compatibility mode that says Docker Compose. This is because Nuvla will automatically detect that because you have a specific option that is only uh, compliant with Docker Compose, we will run this as a Docker Compose application and not a swarm stack. Okay, so everything is good. Let's try to deploy it again and see what happens. Same infrastructure, the Nuvla blocks, no environment variables, no files. Let's just go for it click launch and see if this time we get our application running uh, with the endpoint um, actually being functional. So if we click on it, this time will be much faster because there, there's no swarm service and stack being deployed. It's purely a container through Docker Compose where we already have the endpoint there, which is good, okay? All the parameters are set there, all good. Let's just click, go ahead and click on the endpoint, on the green button, and see if our endpoint is actually working, if we can get the video feed from the Raspberry Pi, from the Nouveau box. And there we go. We are going to the Nouveau box to do the VPN IP. We get a web page, the video feed. Let's put something in front of it. So remember, this is our webcam. And if the application is working, there it goes. There's an object there, it's a teddy bear. Let's try something else. There's my hand, human, and there's a cat. Of course, this is the performance is quite low. It's a Raspberry Pi, but just bear in mind for the sake of the tutorial that we are not using any GPUs, so that's what we get. And let's remove the cap, for example, and wait a bit for it. And there we go. That's pretty much it. So we have just deployed a container application from Nuvla to a Nuvla box at the edge, and we have mapped an IoT peripheral device into that application. Let us know if you have any questions. You can 
write it down in the comment below or you can just ping us by email check our videos subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next tutorial videos take care